Hi guys, a little update from Love Ladies Garden Project some more. Haven't did one in a while. These are some of my fall seedlings. They've been out for about three days. And I'm gonna go ahead on and plant them to see how they do. This is a perennial. And this is actually the only one that's regrowing. I cut it all the way back. And I don't know why. I mean, I'm assuming maybe it's supposed to grow back in the fall. But none of the other ones, and all these are perennials that's in these little buckets. And I have, well maybe, I don't know, I don't think I've been watering them. I, maybe if I watered them, they might show some signs of life. This one always get water, uh, because whenever I water anything up here, it drains up in there, so that could be why that one is starting to flourish. So I guess I'll make it a point to start watering these, <laughs> these other flowers and maybe they'll grow. We'll go over here to the um, to the garden area. Be right back. My okra is doing good. I need to trim back the uh, dead leaves over there and right here. This 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 set haven't produced okra yet. And this is some of my burgundy okra and some more to one of each of the ones I have in the back. Everything else I trim back. Over here, this one, remember the one I chopped up? But it's actually starting to get a lot of foliage to it. This is one of my cucumbers. This is my Sumter, Sumter cucumber. Excuse me, it's doing good. I put a tomato plant over here. And over here, we'll see if they're going to keep growing life. They already had fruit, so I said, oh, Lord, let me see if I can save them. But I want to see if this here is going to actually put fruit on. It's doing good now. I replenished all the soil over here. These are my beans. They're starting to bud up, as you can see. My little marigold, I got to come and trim. I just trimmed that thing. Uh, this here is my... I think this is my crimson or my Charleston watermelon. Now this is this one here is one of the ones I cut back that I had um, of the earlier set that I thought died. They hadn't died. I just when I cut them back they regroup, which is good. This here is a, a new sugar baby as well. Now I cut them back; they didn't grow back so far. So I'm, I'm just gonna leave them though. This here, I pulled that old, old, old pea plant, and I did replenish the soil. So what I'm going to do, I'm just getting everything ready for my new seedlings. Uh, I hadn't taken, I hadn't taken the uh, sunflower seed, sunflowers out yet. I was going to do it today, but I'm done for the day. I've been out here long enough. I did the most important thing was replenish my soil, harvest what needs to be harvested. Some of it I put in the big trash can. I got a lot of flowers on my jalapenos. I have at least two people for sure 
three people for sure want some of those jalapenos. Remember, I don't eat jalapenos like that. I would take one and probably mix it in something, maybe. Depends on how I'm feeling. Other than that, uh-uh. I do the banana peppers and whatever. But I might even get out here. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to say that because I'd be telling a lie. Or, or telling a story of cutting yard, trimming. Hopefully my husband get up early enough to do that. But this here, um, everything is, is still going good with this. I still have to do one adjustment to this one, the wash station. Um, I supplied a bucket. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna move it on the inside because even though it's not many people guarding, I don't want anyone to take it. <laughs> I need all my supplies. We put it on the inside of the fence. But uh, you see my lid, it doesn't close. So that's going to be that one adjustment I do. I'm going to take the board out right next to it, right here. And I'm going to move, pull that board over here to that space I said I can add one more and bring the bucket over. And it should be able to uh, slide over a little bit to close that lid because I don't want that lid to be propped up all the time. Um, yeah, so my grow bag, I put it right here. Wasn't trying to be junky, but... I was getting ready to do something. So yes, guys, that's the update um, on the garden, on the outside, and I'll get ready to take you on the inside. So on the inside, excuse me, I have so much that I'm still reorganizing. I still have supplies that need to go outside. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light on or something. Lovely, tie. Oh, well, you can't see much here, so I gotta turn these lights on. Okay. Update on the salad in the bowl. It is doing so good already. The cilantro. These two will stay inside. The salad in the bowl and the cilantro. These are the same seedlings that we used seen outside. They're all doing excellent. Um, these these cup these lights <laughs> it is real hard sometimes to see what's what but I'm gonna try to get you to uh, see that one this is the mixed greens I'm gonna now this is the one I said I was gonna up pot and I didn't so as you can see it's time to up pot so that's gonna be on the agenda really really soon well, after I made my pineapple uh, jam, I took uh, Homestead Heart Advice and I'm trying to grow my own pineapple. Okay. And one more update is, look. Uh, my green, I'm growing green onion inside. This is another thing that do not have to go outside. I hope I do not have it too close to you guys. You cut, once you cut the tops off, you could just put them in something in, in some water and they I mean this is like three days worth of growth already from when I cut it it's already growing back I should probably be able to chop off of that again within the next probably by the end of the next week yeah, unless I want to uh, chop it off sooner and it's and just leave it in there and it's gonna regrow these are some more that I put these in at the same time uh, they got roots and it's just hard to stand these particular ones up I'm gonna try I hope I can I'm gonna stick I'm gonna try to stick them up hopefully they don't fall and believe it or not if they're gonna root I mean start re-sprouting which they should you will see that probably tomorrow so I will update you on that and hopefully my husband will come bump it and go pretty fast you know uh but we'll see how these take off with all the uh, vitamin A. Somebody are they too young to be putting um, in those in that soil? These are gonna go in that soil. So I'm not gonna do it tomorrow, but I'll probably do it this weekend. Um, depending on how the temperatures are, I don't wanna um, kill myself out here, but they will go under the canopy. 
they would not go in the direct sunlight. They would go under the canopy in the first bed and then the third bed. Because that's kind of, those two beds are almost kind of like my mixed beds, I say. <laughs> I got little everything in both of those beds. But nothing in here is something that can't be planted in either of those beds, if that makes sense. So stay tuned for those updates as well. I hope you enjoyed this update. I'm sorry that um, I haven't been doing a lot of updates, but love lady is still having headaches. These allergies, is, down here in Texas, the pollen and all that stuff is very, very high. 